Hello guys, welcome to another video series on Biomedical Engineers TV. In this series we will look into x-ray machines as we know there is a wide application of x-ray in medical radiology field, but we will keep it simple to make you understand how x-ray works. In this video we will give an introduction to x-rays, the working principles of x-rays, and types of x-ray machines. Let's begin with an introduction of x-rays in the medical field. Before their discovery in 1895, x-rays were just a type of unidentified radiation emanating from experimental discharge tubes. They were noticed by scientists investigating cathode rays produced by such tubes, which are energetic electron beams that were first observed in 1869. Crookes tubes created free electrons by ionization of the residual air in the tube by a high DC voltage of anywhere between a few kilovolts and 100 kilovolts. This voltage accelerated the electrons coming from the cathode to a high enough velocity that they created x-rays when they struck the anode or the glass wall of the tube. On November 8, 1895, German physics professor Wilhelm Röntgen stumbled on x-rays while experimenting with Lennard tubes and Crookes tubes and began studying them. He wrote an initial report on a new kind of ray, a preliminary communication, and on December 28, 1895, submitted it to Würzburg's Physical Medical Society journal. This was the first paper written on x-rays. Röntgen referred to the radiation as X to indicate that it was an unknown type of radiation. The name stuck, although over Röntgen's great objections, many of his colleagues suggested calling them Röntgen rays. Let's see how a medical x-ray works. It took a long time for scientists to make the x-ray safe for medical use. Today's x-ray machines produce a stream of electromagnetic radiation that interacts with an anode in an x-ray tube. The x-rays made by this interaction are then directed toward the part of the body being examined. To reduce radiation exposure, X-ray machines aim the X-rays at only the focus area. When X-rays come into contact with our body tissues, they produce an image on a metal film. Soft tissue such as skin and organs cannot absorb the high energy rays and the beam passes through them. Dense materials inside our bodies, like bones, absorb the radiation. Much like camera film, the X-ray film develops depending on which areas were exposed to the X-rays. Black areas on an X-ray represent areas where the X-rays have passed through soft tissues. White areas show where denser tissues, such as bones, have absorbed the X-rays. Have you ever had an X-ray? They're commonly used to see broken bones. Doctors might also order an X-ray when trying to figure out why you don't feel well. But rest assured, X-rays are nothing to be nervous about. They don't hurt at all. Instead, they help doctors find ways to make you feel better. Let's get to know some types of X-ray machines used in the medical field. Conventional radiology. This type of traditional X-ray produces a single two-dimensional image, which you have probably seen in an actual doctor's office, if not on a medical TV show or movie. Conventional radiology is primarily used for viewing bones, bone fractures, tissues dense in calcium, dental x-rays, and the chest. Because they are on conventional film, the doctor and patient must wait for the results. Today's digital images, like those produced by our digital cameras, are processed by a computer so they can be viewed immediately. As a result, they are slowly replacing film. CT Computerized Tomography Computerized tomography combines a traditional X-ray with computer processing to create a better resolution. A CT scan creates a series of cross-sectional images or slices to form a 3D image. This allows Southwest Diagnostic Imaging to view different parts of the body from different angles. A CT scan can show organs, the skeleton, tissues, and any abnormalities within these systems. This type of image can show tumors and lesions in the abdomen. A CT scan may also be used to look at the following. The heart to discover heart disease. The head to find an injury, blood clots leading to a stroke, tumors or a hemorrhage. The lungs to discover a PE or pulmonary embolism, clots, fluid, tumors, pneumonia or emphysema. 
bones to find fractures, bone tumors, or eroded joints. Angiography. This technique is used to examine arteries, veins, and organs in order to diagnose and treat blockages or other problems within the blood vessels. A thin tube known as a catheter is inserted into an artery or vein from the groin or arm. A contrast agent is injected into the bloodstream to make the artery or vein visible. The goal of this test is to find blockages or narrowing of blood vessels near the heart, brain, abdomen, or legs. If a blockage is discovered, SWDIC can treat it while the angiogram is being performed. Mammography. Most women are familiar with this special x-ray known as a mammogram. It creates detailed images of the breast to be used as a screening tool to detect cancer at an early age or diagnose breast disease from symptoms like pain, a lump, or discharge from the nipple. Tumors will show up as irregular shaped white masses. Today's mammography has advanced to include 3D images that show the entire breast. This new technology helps to increase the likelihood of early detection of breast cancers. Fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy produces real-time images of continuous movement within the body shown on a fluorescent screen and recorded for analysis at a later time. It shows a live image of the patient's internal structures and can follow the path of an injected contrast substance. A fluoroscopy test depicts real-time images of a beating heart or the blood flow to the muscles of the heart. It is also used to position a pacemaker or catheter, orthopedic implants during a surgical procedure, or to view contrast agents. This is also the same technology used during a barium enema to view movement through the gastrointestinal tract. These five types of x-rays are a valuable diagnostic tool for physicians that help catch diseases faster and help patients live longer. Hope you liked this video. In the next video, we will look into an application of the x-ray machine. Thanks for watching Biomedical Engineers TV. See you guys in the next video.